Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. I'm sorry that I'm late. You know, I had a big problem with the computer and then I had to do again some other changes. But anyways, we're here. Already. So how is uh, has been your day today? I mean, today is Friday and uh, I hope you had a very good night and a very good day. So we're going to start with the um, attendance. Let's see. Ana Claudia Gonzalez. Present. Good. David Samuel Galgamo. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Isel Cañas Escobar. Present. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Here teacher, present. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Perfect. Yeah, it seems that also there are some problems with the internet. I see here that somebody is trying to connect, but there are some problems. Okay. So we're going to start since the, I mean, the homework for today was, I'm sorry? Present. Fernando, what's oh, Okay. Very well. I'm going to check into that one right now. Hold on a second. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have two homeworks for today. We're gonna to start right away and we're gonna start with the ones with the words, okay? That is going to be the first one. Okay, so uh, who wants to to share the first, the first time, the words? Anybody? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. We're going to listen to Marvin. What are the words that you want to present? Uh, my words are, let me see, I have a note here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to write in, in the chat. Okay. Because, because you know, the, the pronunciation. <laughs> uh, definitely, I understand. Okay, the first one is... Is... Perus. Okay. Perus means to read or, or examine something carefully, usually with the intention of understanding it or finding a specific information. For example, I, I'm going to write an example in the chat. Okay. For example, she perused the contract to make sure the he understands all the terms before signing it. Okay. Or, or another another example, it can be. I like to peruse the bookstore for new books to read. Okay. That's word is new for me. Definitely, that is a word that is is not that common. I mean, people use it, but in specific situations, right? Good. Okay, the second is augment. Augment means to make something larger or to increase its size, often by adding something to it. 
for example, uh, the new the new employees will augment. Sorry, the new employee will augment our existing team and bring new skills and experience. Or, for example, the company has plans to augment their product line with new features. Other, okay. other interesting word and new for me. Yeah, that is a very, uh, it's, you know, that is kind of common because um, it's similar to others. Sometimes when we're writing anything and we want to avoid using the same word, we can use words like this that are kind of the same than other, but um, different words, definitely. Yeah, different. And the last one is galvanize. Okay. Uh, galvanize to stimulate or inspire someone to take action. Okay, for example, I have two examples for, for that. Uh, the speaker's words galvanize the audience into action as they started a petition to make change. Another example is the crisis galvanized the community to come together and help each other in their time of need. Okay, very good. That is an interesting one. Nice. Yeah, that 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 is new for me because galvanized like from galvanizado. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the 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 translate the Google translate. Uh, translate this word like galvanizado, but it's a bird. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, it's a bird that, yeah, maybe it's a concept. Yeah, definitely. It's like a concept. When you say that one, you say kind of many things in, into that one. So that is that is very interesting. So you have any other that would be? No, that will be my three. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Fernando. Okay, do you have any question about the first three words that we have? No questions. Okay, who wants to be the next one then? Everybody, we are going to present our words. You can look for the words right now if you didn't go do this homework. So who wants to be the next one? Okay, I'm going to choose them. Uh, let's see. Um, David, do you have your words or are you still looking for that one? Oh, I guess he's not able to participate right now. Giselle. Not possible for Giselle? Okay, Juan Miguel Brand. Hey, teacher. I don't know if you're listening to me. Yeah, yeah, I listen to you. Okay, so let me open the chat and okay. try to to write the words. Okay, the number okay. one is right there. Oh, Obelus. Okay. I, I think, yeah. It's I, I think that's the pronunciation. What is yeah. this word? Or what is the meaning of this word? If you have seen the um uh this sign symbol of a division, not a uh not the back back no not not the slash, not this, yeah. I am talking about uh, the point, um, middle point. No, like, like, um, just let me. Ah, okay, I, I found that symbol. That symbol, yeah, Obelus. Okay, is the is the name of that symbol one of uh, the common ways to represent a uh, division between two numbers yeah i didn't know the the name of that of that symbol so for me it's a new word yeah and obviously a rare word because <clears throat> we always refer to that kind of symbols as as it yeah that symbol yeah not not 
not by the name, yeah, just by, uh, by the word, this symbol or that symbol, yeah. Um, what else? Um, I have another one over here. Uh, just let me write in the chat. Okay. Um, Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll take your time, don't worry. Okay, there is another one that is kind of nasty, but in Spanish, in a colloquial way, in, 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 um, in many towns and places, uh, we in Spanish talk about this like a, a, um, the, the fluid, that is uh, hanging from the nose, yeah. Um, I think the, the mucus, yeah. But um, when you are, I think, so um, congestionado, I don't know how to say this in English, teacher. Um, Coglet, I guess, is the word for that one. Okay, so, but you have so much uh, focus, yeah, that is hanging or is ex exceeding, yeah, from Is the liquid mouth. one, Juan Miguel? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, like in Spanish. <laughs> but uh, when you are not cleaning up, yes. Yeah, la candela de la candela. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. like this. Sorry to yeah. interrupt, but... <laughs> No, that's fine. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> so the, there is the, the other word. Yeah, mail drop. For me, it's a new one. It's a rare one because in Spanish, we just say like, like we said before. But in English, obviously, there are some uh, words like this that for us are not so common. Yeah. Uh, we only said about the mucus, <clears throat> but uh, maybe just just that, yeah. Not not by the right name, yeah. And the other word is this, yeah. Gargalistasia. All right. Yeah. And you think or you can uh, ask to yourself, what is this word? Yeah. And this word refers to the sensation uh, that you have when something is tickling you. Yeah. Like the reaction. When someone when someone is uh, uh, for example passing uh, uh, some something over your uh, I I mean over your foot um, la planta del pie I don't know how to say foot plant no uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can say that one. That don't be a problem, huh? Okay, or your your souls, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with a feather. Yeah. So the reaction that your bodies have, uh, that contraction, uh, no matter what, uh, what, uh, what part of your body, but that. Since sensation and that reaction, this is gargalistasia. Yeah. The sensation caused by, by tickling. Yeah. 
Okay, so like it's like the muscular contraction uh, uh -huh. whenever you do something like that. Yeah. All right, so it's related to the muscle. So interesting, very good. I, I'm a little confused. I don't know if it's something like calambre or como. No, it's como la, la sensación que tú tenés en la que te hace la cosquilla. Yeah. Uh, oh. you, you contract your body or the, or the, or the, ah, the, so part, of, uh, the part of your body that feels. Como ping, for example. <laughs> ping. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, when someone makes you the, yeah, pin your ear on your side and, and. Yeah, yeah. Move suddenly. Yeah, so that that sensation is gargalization. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, those words are kind of, even in Spanish or in English, are kind of complex, and sometimes we don't use it. Even uh, we we know that they have a name, but I mean, you don't say, hey, "Oh, I felt gargalization right now," because I mean, that is. <laughs> but the yeah. interesting thing is that we know that everything has a name. I mean, everything, everything, yes. every movement, everything that you do or you don't do. I mean. And uh, that is very interesting because sometimes, I mean, there are certain topics that whenever you're speaking or when you're learning English are kind of complicated. Um, things about the body parts or related to medicine or things like that one uh, definitely are going to be complicated, like plants, uh, medicines, um, animals. I mean, there are a lot of names that even in Spanish we don't know, right? So uh, there is another one. Let's go for that one. Yeah. The other one is, um, is could be related, yeah. But gargalization is the contraction of your body with uh, when someone is tickling, yeah. But this word nis nismesis, I think, is is the right pronunciation. Is <clears throat> the uh, how to say this the the contraction yeah of your body but when you have something in your body like uh, uh electrodo i don't know how to say this in english yeah but or or, or uh, when you touch someone or something and you have um uh, for example, like, electricity, Juan Yeah, yeah, electricity. A oh. touch of electricity, yeah. And that, you suddenly in seconds in the whoops. Uh-huh, uh -huh, That reaction uh -huh, okay. is this this word is the name of, of that word, sorry, that is reaction, the name right? of this reaction, yeah. Okay. Uh, just that. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you. Uh, very interesting. And yeah, I mean, um, everything has a name. Whenever you uh, happen to do something or there is a reaction or uh, names about or many things, everything has a name. Uh, and it's very interesting. It's very interesting to know the names of those. I guess that sometimes even in Spanish, we don't know those kind of concepts, right? We know that there is a, an expression or, or a name for that one, but we rather uh, say uh, the... Uh, like the description of the feeling, right? In, instead of looking for the word. But it's very interesting, very good, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, the next one is going to be Ana Claudia. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm going to write here the first word in the chat is hellscape. This is an unpleasant plate, unpleasant place, that will be right, unpleasant. Pleasant, place. pleasant, pleasant. Is the opposite of landscape. Landscape is a place where you feel comfortable. It's a place that brings you peace. But healthscape is the opposite. It's the association of the word health, health and scape. Okay. Yeah, health and scape. So it's like uh, it's like the colloquial way to say inferno. <laughs> When we are in a place that is not comfortable or we see something that is not uh, something good, it's a, a 
How can I say? Or, or environment sometimes turns from a friendly environment, suddenly the situation changed. So it's it used that, that word. It's hellscape. Hellscape. Okay. This okay. one. Let me just copy. Oy. One moment. Okay, the second paste. Uh, the second one is this one. Nearly well. Uh, I, I haven't seen that word before <laughs> today. And this refers to people who live like in a relationship. It's a noun, the noun that receives the person that is a, in a life partnership. Uh, sometimes engaged, but with no plan, wedding date. So uh, here in, in, it's like uh, the relation or the person we know in Spanish, like acompañado. So in, in this way, in this case, it's nearly wet. So someone, uh, or newly what also is associated but it's someone that is not they don't have like a plan for a wedding or they don't have a wedding day they just live in a partnership uh, with no intention or of getting married and the other word is yes copy and paste Okay, this is the, the third word. Oh my God. Cake -ish. Uh, I thought when I, I saw it, it was, oh, it's a cake for different ages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, the place where um, they, they, cook or they make the cakes but it mostly is used for, for when a restaurant is serving a cake a cake that they have no cook or they haven't supplied by themselves uh, or when when someone for example brings a cake to a party and because there is no no case. I, I, that is the way how I I understood that this is a a cake cake uh, is uh, uh is like they said it's a charge made by a restaurant for serving a cake that they have not supplied themselves. So it's the service that someone does to serve a cake in a party. That is how I understood that word. Okay, very good. Actually, that is it. That is it. It's a service, so definitely good. It's a service. Very nice. Okay. Thank you very much, Ana Claudia. Very interesting, the words of today. So you can see that we're moving forward. And there are uh, words, I mean, very technical because we have a lot of vocabulary already. So very nice. Okay. Good. Let's check with Jose Osmin Rivas. Not possible. Then uh, Luis Albert Steve. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay. Um, I have three words, and the first is I'm going to write. Okay.
Okay. Okay. The ironic pronoun for the correct way is self. Self. Okay. Self. Huh? So, it's an it's in an it's a noun. It's informal when you say nothing, nothing at all. For example, how when you say how much money is left? Silch. Okay. And the word is I'm going to use only with said. Okay. Zim is okay. it's a noun too. It's in it's a informal um a small magazine usually about popular cultures that is written by people who are not professional writers. Okay, very good, interesting. Do you have one more? The last one is This sorry. Okay. Right. Okay. Sing, sing, like a singer. Singer. Uh, similar. Uh, only change the first word. The first letter. Um. But this is an informal, uh, clear humorous remark that might also be insulting. It's like a. When you use this word, it's like an insult, uh, you're insulting uh, to someone. Okay. Maybe it's like a humor, but honestly, it's, to me, it's not. It's not like a humor. <laughs> and okay. That's all. Three words. Okay. Very interesting. Very good. Thank you, this author. Very interesting. And yeah, sometimes. You know, uh, Zion is a very uh, good, int it's interesting because you will find some words that are going to be the short uh, form of other words. So that is a very good one. Good. Uh, let's check then William Alexander. Okay. It's not Gary. It's not Gary. And the meaning is huh? elegant. For example, Sarah was uh, working to make her living room into a snuggery by filling the space with cozy furniture. Comfortable pillows and heart that will make any visitor happy at home. Okay, very good. And the next one is. Wonders. Wanderlust. Okay, Wanderlust. 
and the meaning is a strong desire to travel. For example, the feeling of wanderlust took hold. The Diaz family began at, began to book their their cross country RV trek, beginning in Florida and ending the great mountains of the Pacific Northwest. And the last one is. Reverie. Okay, reverie. And the meaning of that is a state of being pleasantly lost in one's thoughts, a daydream. For example, as Lindsay went out for her daily run, she found herself in a state of reverie, contemplating her future with her family that she loved and her new job that left her feeling excited about what the next few years would bring. That's it. Sure. Okay, very interesting, very good, perfect. And yeah, wanderlust, you know, that is a very common word, but some people, they don't know. So. It's something that we can start using in the vocabulary. So you, if you really want to travel and you have desire to go to different places, you can say, I'm a wanderlust. So that's a very good one. Good, perfect. Thank you, William. So let's check with Marcus. Okay. And first is an adverb. I think it's very common, but... Honestly, I, I didn't know the the, the current the correct meaning. Thereafter, uh, thereafter is an adverb that means after that time. So for example, we can say uh, thereafter the morning. Um, or occurs the accident, for example, we can say. Um. The next is an uh, expression. It's not uh, specifically a, a word, an expression that maybe can confuse the people. And is on the right. Uh, when I hear that expression the first time, I think was well, referring to something appearing, but uh, indeed means that something that is growing constantly on the right. So for example, we can say uh, the um, levels of heat in this season are on the right, for example, we can say. And the last one is levis. Levis and levis. Levis, I don't know if I pronounce correctly. Levi, yeah. Levi uh, is um, like you can use the expression, for example, to refer to the money gather, like tax levy. The money that, that is gathered to, to pay something or, or the amount of money gather. Gather, I think, could be a anonymous. Uh, synonyms for this expression. So those are my three words. Okay, very good, very interesting. Yeah, and uh, remember that you don't have uh, only to bring some words, expressions like on the rise also are very good. And whenever you see something that is interesting that you believe that you can get into the vocabulary, I mean, it's not just uh, to understand the word or the expression, but also to start using that one. In that way, you are going to have more vocabulary. You will be able to to uh, speak better and also to understand because maybe these words, if you listen in the future in movies or with people in real life, you will know what, what they're meaning. So very good. Perfect. Thank you, Marcus. Let's check the next one. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Hello, Francisco. Is it possible for you? Mm. 
Not possible. Who has him? Let me just check. Uh, Eliana Giselle, is it possible for you? I guess it's not possible. Okay. And the rest, I guess you made it already. Let me just check. Yeah. I guess we're done. So a lot of people not here. I guess the homework was sometimes kind of difficult. But let's give it a try with the other part of the homework, okay? Remember that you are going to, I mean, to show, you can show only uh, or you can speak only. I mean, you can combine uh, activities or uh, the way that you are going to present is your decision, okay? Uh, I hope uh, you get something that is not that short, but also not that long, not that complicated. So we're going to start with the second homework that is going to be the presentation of the business plan. I know that this was uh, overwhelming, right? So sometimes we can think or we can feel that it's a lot. Uh, but as I was telling you, you just have to practice English. That's the only thing that we are going to cover here that is important. The way that you are going to present, and this is a very good rehearsal. Uh, so just in the case, in my in the case, uh, you in the company that you work or in the future, if you need to present something, this is a good rehearsal. Uh, and you will be able to know what you need to do so you can present figures and numbers about a company here. So very good. Who wants to be the first to present the business plan. That is the question. Anybody? I know that it's overwhelming, but I mean, if you had the plan, no big deal. Okay, I guess I will choose, right? I hope you have the papers there and you're ready. Uh, let's start with Anna Claudia. My goodness, is well, it's to read, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it's, 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 don't worry. I mean, we're not going to be like, hey, what is, why do you say that the figures are going to be this in three years? No, right, of course, that, that won't happen. So you present freely. If we have questions about vocabulary or, or where did you find some information, something like that, we can ask you. If you don't know, you can look on the internet, but we're not going to ask you about, I mean, ah, okay. like, a, like our business, right? Like a reality okay. stuff. It's not going to be like Yes, I found one. There are different is the link that you share with us. And there are a lot of uh, business information, even different idea. But one uh, brought my attention is for uh, soap, is for the process of washing hands. It's a, like a kind of soap. <laughs> and the company name is Safe Assure. Safe with capital letters, Assure. So it, it, basically this uh, makes the employers make sure the employees wash their hands. And in the executive summary says that Safe Assure LLC has designed a new product that provides managers with a quick easy and affordable method, method to effective monitor employee hand washing. <laughs> uh, proper hand washing is the most effective preventive uh, measure available to combat communicable disease. Improper hand washings contribute to more than 130,000 death, uh, death in the U.S., uh, each, each year through the transfer of communicable disease in restaurants, day scares, and hospitals. More than AIDS and breast cancer combined, studies have shown that proper hand washing procedures in these environments could cut down the spread of disease by up to 75%. I was just highlighting the, the important part of every, I'm not going to read it at all, right? I mean, the one that you believe is necessary is the one that you're going to read. We're going to listen to exactly what you want to present. Ah, so okay, that is okay. okay, so the greatest contributing factor for this problem stems from the inability of supervisors to monitor and control employees and washing. Existing products offer no effective or affordable solution for enforcing and ensuring hand washing compliance. 
treatment of preventable disease cost America's over $95 billion in direct cost each year. Uh, Seisure LLC is the first producer that answers this problem and provides undisputable proof every time a person washes his or her hands. After washing occurs the unique uh, DYP in our soap remains on the hands and uh, face to the skin natural color in under six minutes. This will allow supervisors to conclusively verify at a glance whether hand washing has taken place. No other product on the market offers such a high level of assurance of sanit sanitation compliance. The product is safe and meets all the current FDA regulatory requirements for soap. The market. Although restaurants and hospitals have tremendous market need for a product such as ours, day care represents the best opportunity for our initial target market. Day cares are an ideal market because they have a best interest in reducing disease transfer among children and have a, a utmost support for from their clients. So parents to create a, a clean an environment as possible. Uh, most daycare centers are sophisticated little germs factories exchanging bacteria and viruses with the shake of hands or the sharing of a toy and many of those nasty bugs travel home where they can infect the rest of the family. So they made a big study. <laughs> the company. <laughs> the company Safe Assure LLC boasts a strong funding team and experience for the advisors. Our primary advisors, Jack Sop, brings 20 years of industry experience and network relationship to accelerate market penetration of the product line. Safe Assure LLC will outsource the production of its soaps to an existing soap manufacturer. The executive team, the executive team will first target the Portland metro area and eventually the greater Northwest using direct sales and existing distributor channels to penetrate the market. Initial capital will be used to test patent, approve, produce, and market safe assured, as well as provide working capital for the first year. Safe, safe Sure LLC will follow three concise strategies to achieve our desired growth. First, exploit first mover advantage in a highly fragmented market with a unique and differentiated product. Second, develop a strong branding campaign to build awareness, positive perception, and sales of our product within our target market. And third one, continue to develop new products to satisfy an ever-growing set of markets. Based on detailed financial projections, Safe Assure LLC will require $250,000 in startup capital, but will generate positive cash flow in October. Year one, by the end of the year three, the company will be generating $850,000 in sales with sizable net profit. Safe Assurance offers investor company with substantial growth potential, cushioned by revenue generation stability. In the mission, uh, our mission is to create value for customers and shareholders by continually improving health and reducing preventable illnesses through the use of our stuff. The keys of success, a first mover branding campaign to build awareness of safe issues products as the standard for ensuring hand washing compliance. Second, patent protection to prevent our time sensitive and product concept from competitors. And third one, complementary, complementary relationship with organi organizations' interests 
and increase hand washing compliance. And the objectives develop a complete prototype which meets regulatory standards by February of year one. Uh, the second objective is it becomes the specialty shop of choice for daycares across the Northwest by December in the year two. And the third objective achieves sales of $5 million by the end of year six. And then um, the company uh, summary, um, the safer Safe Assure LLC was found in uh, Portland, Oregon, uh, as a limited liability corporation. Uh, Safe Assure LLC develops and markets SOPs utilizing TAM sensitive dyes promoting sanitary and safe environments to businesses and parents interested in maximizing clean lines. The company ownership, uh, the executive team will retain at least 7% of the equity of the company. Every $2,500 of investment in the company will secure up to 1% equity in the company. Assuming 30% of the company is owned by investors. Uh, Devon Nervous will retain 40%. Ownership with Kevin Mater. And then the um, Indian startup uh, requirement and startup summary. Uh, as a resume, I can tell you that the total funding required to get the business started is estimated $250,000 of the executive management team, uh, that would be Devon and Kevin will invest $100,000 and $75,000 respectively. An additional $75,000 investment necessary to develop a product and effectively bring safe assurance products to an initially limited geographic uh, region. And then the... Uh, uh, the system uh, is showing the company location and facilities. Uh, the management team of Safe Assure LC will initiate, initially use a residential apartment in Portland to run operations. In year two, we will move to a rented office. Distribution will remain outsourced. And the products, uh, well, at the end, the products are... It's a line that provides a unique control lab to managers, supervisors, and parents that they can make sure that the people involved, uh, they wash their hands in the correct uh, way. And then in the product, in the product uh, description, uh, Safe Assure LLC will produce a live on institutional liquid soap with a time sensitive dye blended into the mixture. And this uh, product, uh, once it's enhanced during the lathering process, uh, will put the hands in a distinct color that will make easy to identify who properly wash uh, their hands and they then they make a list of competitive comparison with another company and then they are finding or adding the source the, the sales liter literature they they use and where they took off the ideas with uh, technology and the future products they want to launch Master. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Actually, it was very well organized. Yes, and the uh, information that you uh, told us was the correct information. I have a few questions, not mm -hmm. about the, the plan itself, but uh, why did you choose this plan? Because in in one of the jobs that I had in the past, I work in a restaurant area. 
And that is a one big compliance that people, they say, yes, I wash my hand, but I didn't know until I was working in that place that there is a technique also to wash your nails. And you need to uh, use some posture, I don't know how to say this, that your hands are in a different position and you mug, I can say mug your nails into the palm and there are different movements in order to make sure. And also, uh, I don't remember, there is like a standardized time if for someone to know that clean it up correctly, their hands, they wash their hands correctly. I don't remember if it's between 40 seconds or one minute that you need to be washing your hands to make sure that that you clean up very well your your hands. You know, since I've been working in the restaurant area, I, I wasn't in I wasn't working at the kitchen or no. I was in the in the at the office in the administrative part. But we were required all of us to make to do all the process. Since I worked there, believe me, uh, here at home always when I do my my task, like cleaning the house, always I use gloves because I know the bacteria can be either nails, even though you wash very well your hands, uh, they can be there. But also if you um, use too much liquids uh, of cleaning the house, for example, cleaners like, I don't know, I don't remember how to say, lejia. Uh, bleach. Bleach. Oh, I'm sorry. Bleach. Thank you. For example, if you use bleach on your daily task, you can transmit those particulars of bleach to your food when you are cooking or to your hair. So you are transmitting uh, from one place to another, even though you don't know, you think you are cleaning. And so I was so scared. I'm, I'm, I know I'm exaggerating, <laughs> but believe it or not, since that job, I always use gloves when I do anything in order to avoid the to cross a uh, flavors bacteria or anything uh -huh. okay yeah it's very interesting well, I I mean, because... my attention <laughs> yeah that is very interesting because yeah based on the experience that you had i i guess that you found something that was interesting because you have experience as well on this one and mm -hmm. uh, i have another question do you believe by reading this project this business plan what do you believe about the company? I mean, do you believe that they can succeed or do you think it's not going to make it? Of course, because they are using like a visual proof to better know if someone did the correct process. Uh, you know, daycares, they mentioned that. It's the place where kids, the, the innocents, they are infected with viruses. And all of us, we know that reality. And, and it's like, oh, the the... The girl or the children uh, will start kindergarten, and you know the first week they are going to seek because because they will be together uh, with other kids. So we see like a normal situation that, and it's not normal, <laughs> and and that is why that draw my attention because I think that will succeed because brings a different color and then turns to the uh, color of the the skin. Okay, very good. So yeah, sometimes there are very really good ideas, right? Um, mm -hmm. These are just templates, but yeah, if you, I mean, you're looking for ideas for a business, this is a good chance. I mean, you can mm -hmm. go and look for things that already exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you are going to find something interesting for you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and implement it. <laughs> but I guess yeah, I mean, they, they have copyright, right? Uh, the ones that we got there, no, they're not copyright. Uh, I mean, the thing is that you need to go in and create the the application or the software or everything that's there. But the good thing is that the business plan is already there. You need to yeah. adapt only some things, right? So mm. it's a very good idea. That's right. Okay. Very well job, Anna Claudia. It was very interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, perfect. So... Uh, anybody has a question for Anna Claudia before we move on? Oh, um, or maybe yes, it's a good plan because uh -huh. <laughs> so, so, sometimes that I have the opportunity to visit a fast food restaurant, uh, 
in in um in a detail that that I look uh, or I that or I um put my attention it's on the workers hands yeah mm -hmm. and sometimes there are um uh, kind dirty or so much dirty on their on their hair nails or his nails mm -hmm. uh, or maybe uh the the same person that is a uh, uh, that, that is a cashier sometimes in order to to accelerate the process they go to to take your food and and serve your food at the at the at the bar and sometimes it's like a, a, it's not so comfortable mm -hmm. for me yeah so i have to look uh to to look up the stairs and not looking for for his hands or for their hands yeah and uh, talking about a uh, fast food restaurants, yeah, and you mentioned someone so something that is important in in daycares, yeah, that are so important this kind of of activity of or action because you have your kids there, yeah, and you hope that uh, they are on a free of germs environment, yeah, exactly. and. And sometimes you you don't even have the opportunity to to watch all the all the the, the, the process, environment right? yeah all the process all the environment uh, how many times in a day they uh, in a day they can uh, clean the the floor the whatever yeah <laughs> for me it will be a uh, an interesting <laughs> product. <laughs> yeah, no, no. An interesting... Let's do it for Miguel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't have the money, but I have <laughs> but you have my my entire support. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you know, and also I was reading that excessive usage of, of bleach, for example, but also it could contaminate a, an environment because I was explaining to the to the teacher that sometimes we think we go from one task to another inside our house. We are cleaning, we are washing dishes, and also one when we are cleaning the house, we use different products. So if, if I feel better if I use gloves because I know the gloves I can wash them and any particular or any piece of, of any of those even though it are things to clean but if they are in my hands and then I got to cook my food I can also be adding those things to my body so yes. I know it sounds crazy but <laughs> that is the way how I've been using gloves in making all my tasks I guess I have like 20 years using gloves okay. it's not about so <laughs> it, it it will be a, a, a best practice because yeah. okay uh, obviously not for contaminate others other uh, surface cross, or, uh -huh. cross the pieces. or whatever okay. yeah but but also in my case when I dish when I wash the dishes uh, my, my hands are peeling peeling off yeah. I don't know how May to say it. Close, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have to use. I yeah. have a... it's part of, uh, I, uh, for me, it's part of my budget. It's like a toothpaste. It's like whatever you want for me, it must be, I, I had, it, it's part of my list. <laughs> also, also when you are cooking, uh, for example, if you are touching uh, the onion or maybe uh, the garlic, mm -hmm. the, the the smell is in your hands, yeah. And obviously, uh, if you go to to another place and you handshake <laughs> another person, uh, okay. You smell my, too my, garlic. <laughs> uh, not too garlic, yeah, something like this. 
Uh, obviously, the best practice is to use gloves, yeah. But also uh, wash the hands in the way that they, they must the right way. wash, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that is interesting because we, uh, I mean, imagine from from a simple homework, sometimes we are able to to understand things and also to change things in our lives that are going to be for the better, right? So we realize mm -hmm. that, yeah, we can do something better for our lives. So this is very nice, very interesting. Sometimes we can find very good ideas in this kind of activities. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, very well. Thank you very much, Ana Claudia. So let's go next with Fernando Marvin. Okay, teacher. Uh, I'm going to share my, my screen. Definitely. Okay. Can you see? Can you see my screen? It's still loading. Okay. Okay, now we can see. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about my idea I presented the other day. Do mm. you remember my, my bus app? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay. But in this in this occasion I, I represented Fair Develop. It's a company dedicated to develop software solutions. Okay. Go ahead. Um okay, this is the execute summary. Um our business idea is to develop a mobile application that allows users to track their public transportation, uh, their public transportation buses, and get real-time information about their location and estimated arrival time. Uh, our ad will be unique in the market as there are no similar ads available in our country. In other country, is, is there some, some ads like this? but in our country are not available. And it will also include additional features, uh, additional features such as alert when the bus is approaching and the ability to share bus tracking with friends and, and family. Our revenue model is advertising and premium subscription plan. Our target market uh, is public transportation users, and it will be available on both iOS and an Android system. So this is a bus description. <laughs> so uh, our mobile application will be a free to use platform that will generate revenue through advertising. In addition, we will offer a premium subscription plan that will allow the user to remove ads permanently. The ad will be available for the load on both iOS and Android devices. And may, the, so this available in this system, it will be accessible to a large number of potential users. And our market analysis. Uh, the app for transportation sector is a growing industry with an increasing number of people relying on public transportation for their daily commute. Our ad will, be, will target this market segment and will provide a unique solution that is currently unavailable in our country. With the growing popularity of mobile application and the increased use of public transportation, we believe our ad has great potential for success. Okay, our marketing strategy. Um, to reach our target audience and generate a strong interest in our app, our marketing strategy will include the following social media advertising. So we will use popular social media platform to advertise our app and reach our target audience. So, but we will carefully select the social media channel that are most relevant to our market and use pay ads to reach a wider audience. Uh, other strategy is word of mouth marketing and re referrals or referrals. So we are confident that user of our ad will be satisfied with their experience and share their enthusiasm with friends and family. We will offer incentives to users who refer new users to our app to encourage word of mouth marketing. So 
we will think that we will collaboration, we will have collaboration with influencers and bloggers. So we will collaborate with influencers and bloggers in the in the in the in the, in El Salvador to promote our app and reach a wider audience. So we will carefully select our collaborators to ensure they are aligned with our values and objectives. And a free trial of premium subscription plan uh, to encourage users to try our apps premium version we will offer a three a free trial period we hope this offer will motivate users to upgrade to the premium version and increase our subscribers base so this is competitive analysis as mentioned Earlier, there are no similar apps currently available in our country. However, we will continue to monitor potential competitors and their offering to stay ahead of the core and maintain our competitive advantage and our manage, management team. Our management team consists of experienced professionals in the field of software development, marketing, and finance. We are confident in our ability to develop and launch a successful mobile application and financial projections. We expect to generate revenue through advertising in the free version of the ad and through the sale of premium subscription. Financial projections indicate that the business will be profitable in our reasonable time frame and that the business model is sustainable in the long term. We will continue to monitor our revenue and expenses to ensure the sustainability and profitability of our business. We will also invest in research and development to continue improving the app and maintaining our competitive advantage in the market. So, thank you. Okay, very good, Perfect. Thank you very much. It's interesting because you made that yourself based on the idea that you had uh, for the previous homework. So that is a very good thing. Um, anybody has a question for Marvin? I hope one day <laughs> that will be a reality because yeah, it will be very helpful for security purposes. Yeah. Exactly. And you will the premium. You will buy the premium plan, please. Yeah, for the three <laughs> getting the ticket one for free. <laughs> yeah. Great. All right. Anybody has any other question for Marvin? It's a good app. In my, in my in uh, definitely. Opinion I mean, is opinion is a good app. It will be an a, a good app and. and we were talking about a couple of days ago with Fernando that it could be oh, oh, not only for end users, yeah, because you can implement a, another a side of the app to monitor the the vehicle, yeah, a, to track to track all the bus stops, to track, for example, the. The, the amount or the quantity of people that is inside the bus in order to to let you know if there are free seats yeah or you have to be on, on by, by foot yeah um, yeah actually uh, I, I I'm sorry go ahead yeah I I hope that if Fernando developed this app at least, to be in, in the credits, yeah, as a as an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I by the way, I, I took some some advice that Juan Miguel gave me the other day. So like the 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 others, the other, I I didn't think about it and they gave me the idea. Only only yeah. the ten only the ten percent of your business, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> okay in the credit uh, like a co-founder yeah <laughs> definitely no it's a very good idea actually i mean uh, the, not only i mean not only for the homework but that is something very good so in the future if you decide to move on i i i, 
I will be more than happy to help you with that one, and we can check what we can do. And Juan Miguel, you can join us as well. So imagine we can create a business here. We never know where it's going yes. to be the money, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. I will share the yeah. link for the law. Oh, of course. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I just have one question about this one. I mean, um, uh, you are talking about advertising and so many things. Uh, what do you think would be the right price for the premium premium plan for this one? For the premium plan? Uh, I think about 3 or $4 for uh, eliminate the, the apps. Okay. Because some some of the people we will use will we will use uh, in a free premium in a freemium plan. And that is the, the, the revenue. Because in this country so the most of the people don't pay for, for use app. But <laughs> yeah, but uh, they don't uh, they don't annoy him. No, they don't bother him, right? They don't bother for for use ad with ads, but minimal ads. No, no ads every two or three minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe at the beginning one ad and that's it, right? Yeah, or, or in a or in a small pile at, at the at the bottom. Yeah, that is a very good idea. You can have several advertisements just in the background, so it's going to be just a small part, and you can continue using the ad. Yeah, in in Basiva, teacher, like like, how do I say, publicity in Basiva? Uh, you can say that invasive public publicity or advertisement. Okay, yeah, we will use uh, a small ads in at, at the bottom. At the bottom, you can put ads all the time, and people don't bothering about it because even they don't see it. <laughs> they ignore it. That that is there, but they ignore it. That is true. That is true. They they totally <laughs> that happens. Yeah, the country. I mean, it's a very good idea for the country, but yeah, you know, the market is. It has to be like that one with the with the advertisement. Definitely, it will be the best option. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much, uh, Marvin. It was a very good presentation and. Uh, um, also, I mean, you created by yourself, so that was very good. I will try. Yeah, I will try. Yeah, I mean, I will. I will use that one definitely. <laughs> okay, thank you. Perfect. So let's listen now to Luis Albert Steve. Okay, teacher, I'm going to share my presentation. Of course. A technical problem. Give me no problem. Take your time. Yeah, don't give me a minute, please. <laughs>
Okay. Good. We can see that. My, my okay. apologies. No, no worries. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about um, eco bags business plan. Uh, idea generation. Uh, the ideas come from years of washing shopping bags made from polythene and other harmful stuff that are really poisonous to the environment. Uh, reuse uh, best quality and trendy designs. Um, our mission is to develop commercial solution to the environmental problem in order to reduce and ultimately eliminate the hazard caused by plastic bags to constantly grow the customer by designing superior and cost effective product through distribution of ideas. Our vision is to become a proactive, integral, and responsible member of of our environment and community, making us a strong global supply base for world class products. For management and organization, and companies divide into following four branches designing and development manager, marketing manager, and human resources manager, finance manager, and production, production manager. Uh, raw materials. Uh, well, in this case, you will be going to use paper in roll, canvas, gum, printing ink, screen, as a meals in chemical and illumination. And uh, the raw material of the unit is easily available available on the market. Uh, manufacturing. Step two, a curing machine. A sauna is a printing printing machine, and a machine is, is a curing curing machine. And well, in the process, this is my manufacturing process. A raw material like paper roll, curing through automatic machine, and pressing with the help of gum and chemical ingredients. Uh, Printing, drawing, and pushing, packing, and that. Okay, the impactor and a one hundred percent reusable, recyclable, and bio biodegradable. Environmentally preferred and contains 40% plus consumer recycled material. And I'm going to show you, I don't know if you like, like this, this kind of bags. Like this or... like this kind of bags. Okay, yeah. Some, maybe some prints, uh, some de uh, de design, like you can see that. Okay. Or like this. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay. And continue. Of course. Okay, is in future we turn out to our own time in hard craft bags and package bags. And customize size and shapes for paper bags and is characterized by fast. Well, in this 
in this case, or, or bags uh, will be doing from recyclable paper and clothes, clothes like uh, canvas, uh, or by variety. Uh, when you store shop and our company are a supplier of trendy clothing, then we will we could create a uh, shopping bags in very trendy and eye catching way. The variety include right, paper, black, black, purple, and other several designs and colors according to the trends and needs. Variety may in accordance with your own um, business standard, but of various, various size, men and women will be easily attracted. Uh, industry analysis, uh, shopping bag business is it's all about the plastic bag and paper bags. There are many types of bags available in the market. This is the best field to get in into under MES. Like the uh, a small, medium uh, enterprise. This is a uh, like when you talk about uh, in Spanish, pyme, pequeña y mediana empresa. Mm -hmm. in, in English, it's a small and medium size, size enterprise. It has a lot of, of potentials. Example for normal market, anything in your purchase come with a package and a bag. From a stall to a big super mall. The competition. So the competition is the shopping bag industry. Many small to be as big as scale industries are producing bags. The main competitors are plastic bags maker uh, and paper bags that are produced for branded products. There are long several low quality bags that are produced locally. Uh, we we'll offer innovative products in a familiar style at a competitive price. Why should you buy eco bags? Approximately 380 trillion bags are used every year. Approx approximately uh, 100 billion out of the 300, 380 <clears throat> trillion are plastic shopping bags. At estimated 660 million uh, barrels of oil is required to make that many plastic bags. Plastic are not by biodegradable. Only one to only one to two percent of plastic bags are recycled. And well, the problems we have many problems by breeding ground from disease, causing germs, bacteria, and insects, depleting natural resources, stay in the environment for hundreds of years while they break down. Plastic contaminates soil fertility. Plastic bags are for the grace. Okay, advertising and pamphlets in newspapers, free samples in stalls, personal selling. We can also make it for shops that use them and at cheap, cheap in the price. The target market as this B2B, it's business to business. So the target market is food services, chemist uh, shops, shoe shops, and clothes markets. Very few of the markets provide paper bags, which is equal to about 3% on. And methods of distribution. Under the vehicles of the company, cost of will be induced in income statement. A competitive strategy. There are, all, there are three major ways product in the in the pie, quality and novelty, high employee motivation and good sales attitude, innovate and friendly services options. EcoBank is among all the competition which focuses on the environment as such. 
a market location. Well, I think in San Salvador, or the, 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 the best, the first, <clears throat> the first market over maybe over 150 50 businesses in the specific locality, a local population. Um, 238,244 people and product positioning to serve customer in a unique and effective way, build a strong relationship, trending having different colors like I showed, a reasonable and affordable prices, environment friendly and social social kind of strategies has never been adopted. A marketing strategies, a social house, and the competitors have stable quality. <clears throat> they have also high prices. Example, Super Selectors, Dollar City also provide social bags, social bags and high price. We have several reasonable prices and the high sales volume will result in falling. Okay, is throughout strength it's eco friendly less competitor quality of product for fashion trend stylish design and witness plan capacity one of the major weaknesses faced by this campaign is how to reach the audience bias and conduct effective communication with them Uh, opportunities. There are many diversion, diversions uh, in this business. Increasing awareness of hazard plastic from a store to super store in big mall shopping bags are used. This is a something which is, will never end. And treats introduce new products similar to paper bags, increased price of raw material, competing with already established market of plus and, and that's all. Okay, very good, very interesting. So the name of the company was Ecobag. Ecobag. Yes. All right, very good, perfect. Uh, so anybody has a question for Steve? Bye. <laughs> that's that's a good one. Yeah. So uh, I see that you have some of those. Uh, so are you running this business already or is it just for the homework? It's just for home. Yes. Okay, very good. So uh, let's say that you will run this one. What would, what do you think will be the best price for these bags? Is you reuse, reuse uh, materials, uh, don't contaminate. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, uh, plastic bags in, in our work is a lot of contamination. And, well, when I go to the supermarket, I use uh, this this kind of bag uh, because uh, it's near the supermarket in my to, to, to my house, and I walk. And I walk and I and I use this kind of this uh, our our beer. And I, like this. Okay. And I use in and I and I bring a lot of things. I, I, I put in order every every everything and like full and shampoo. And, I don't know uh, many things. Uh, I I think I, I bring many things from the supermarket, and when you put in order every every everything, you can bring commonly uh, for uh, commonly, mm -hmm. uh, and for me it's good. You can use uh, is this this kind of, of bags. The idea or the or the main idea is not contaminate. 
Yeah, definitely. So that is very good because you won't be able to pollute anything, right? So what would you think is the price? What would, the, would be the price for the bags? Mm, the bags. I think the, 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 it depends of, of the... Maybe uh, two, two, uh, between uh, two and five hundred. And two, 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 or two, two, between two to five dollars. Yes. Two and five dollars, okay. Yes. Yeah, because, that seems affordable. Because in, or my, my competitors, uh, they, is, they, Sales and I saw the price is, is two dollars, three dollars, or, or, or more. Okay, okay, very Pol good. Very I'm sorry, go ahead. Polenbear sells eco bags in four dollars, so it's a good price for, for the eco bag. Okay. Very good. So perfect. That seems like a very good idea. Thank you very much, Steve. So it was a very Thank interesting you. presentation. All right. Let's go with, uh, let's see, Marcus. Let's see, Marcus. Okay, teacher. Um, I, I'm not, I don't have a presentation, but I'm going to read it. The business plan I found. Okay. Uh, this is the business plan for a startup company providing web and graphic design services, um, such as screen design, online marketing, search engine optimization, social media marketing, split display marketing, and web development to the company. So the executive summary. Uh, the, the primary business concept of this business plan is providing web and graphic design service to companies. So the marketing services offer areas uh, are in the areas of web design, graphic design, and other services. The following list include the complete branch of system and programming language in which the startup can provide services. So for example, we have HTML and CSS. Uh, JavaScript, jQuery, Ajax, PHP, MySQL, database design, content management system, online shops, Joomla, WordPress, and Drupal. Also, we offer graphic design services in the following areas. Corporate design, logo design, flyer and brochure design, poster and print advertising design, product image and advertising photography. Uh, the web development involves many programming applications, native web and hybrid, hybrid, and online marketing also revolves around the following assets that also will be offered. CEO, search engine optimization, CAM, search engine marketing, CAI, search advertising, advertising, Facebook marketing, Twitter marketing, email marketing and newsletter marketing. The vision of this uh, business plan, the, the, strategy, the strategy of the company entice quality management without being too expensive for the main target group of clients, a small and medium enterprise and local organization or establishment public or private. To benefit Maximally from the market environment on location and the prevailing demand and plan for rapid growth and an early stage. The company can be even more flexible by using modern technology uh, with you to the best practices. The strategy aims to present the company in the highly competitive online marketing field as, service, as a service oriented right from the start, so as the increase in chances of being recommended by satisfied clients. The company professional services will ensure it is not forgotten by its clients and can be and can serve their needs over a long period. Uh, the market and competition analysis. 
the market for the service to be offered is quite competitive. But despite despite this demand is not only high, but on the rise, the analysis of a specific competences show that the new technologies and development methods are becoming integrated with the current job profile very quickly. And companies are looking for very high skill experts that possess that the, the lab latest know how. HTML5 has become the standard for web designers. A lot of companies expect very good CES uh, knowledge and experience in the design of responsive websites. So the prices must correspond to the quality of services. Long-term research on the com competition was done to assess the effectiveness of marketing investment. Accurate. Comprehensive data on the companies managed by the founder was collected. So the health and accident insurance and contractual details such as hiring, freelance assistance, and buying parent license have been researched very thoroughly to ensure legal compliance and protection. We will be insured against damage to or theft of expensive laptops or other security measures will include a powerful backup system, encryption of critical data and professional antivirus, software to protect against data loss and other marketing specific risks, especially in relation to cybercrime. Due to the complex nature of the Disney project, it's extremely important to not compromise on performance and not to focus on quality, maintenance, and reliability. This is the only way to ensure adequate pricing and the core and the cooperation of other professional enterprises. Uh, the opportunities and threats and weakness and, and stress and strength. First, I, I will go with the strengths. The first is exciting business connection with well-positioned companies and lucrative business areas. And the weakness are very high workload for the money, especially in the beginning um, of the startup. And second is hard to find staff organized uh, or source the opportunities. Marketed for market for med marketing services is very dynamic. Um, and the second, great innovation potential for long term expansion. The threats, uh, legal risk where technical problems arise, and server, severe price competition in the performance sensitive area of marketing service. And finally, the financial planning. Uh, the founder plan is planning to provide equity contribution in amount of uh, $2,100. Uh, sorry, $20,000 of the manager and sole shareholder. He expects to enter the market quickly to, to his contact. Agreed on good payment terms with partners and maintain cash reserves. Despite the high market, the high market entry costs, marketing investment and, and in equipment stuff, the company will survive and grow without additional debt financing in the first three years. Thanks to the single organization of internal processes and close cooperation with customers and partners. The revenue will be limited in the first several months. Following market entry, uh, it will take some time to equip the company and attract new clients. However, revenue will solidify and grow after the third quarter. This tendency will continue in the following months. So that, uh, that is my, my business plan. <laughs> okay, very interesting, very good. So does anybody has a question for Marcus? Okay, I have a question for you. Uh, why did you choose this uh, this specific business plan about this product? Um, because I think uh, it's more related with the area in, in currently I work I work for, and also I've been thinking about doing something like that because you know I think um, 
more oriented to the small businesses. They need advertisement or they need like um, a assistant to manage all their uh, small um, processes because maybe the the lot for clients is not that big. So I think we we can I can uh, manage or handle uh, that client and offer them uh, like uh, attractive web application or web pages to to publicize his, his entrepreneur entrepreneurship. Okay. Very interesting, actually. Very nice. It was a very good presentation and it was very clear. So, and as, again, we are able to learn many things here in this kind of homework session. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. So, let's check uh, Juan Miguel Brand. Okay. Just let me share my screen. Of course. Mm, let me check. Um, this. Um, you watch my screen? Yeah, yeah, we're able to see it. I can put in the presentation way, yeah? Yeah. So uh, my idea is related with a listing directory with an e-commerce uh, option, yeah? Uh, like uh, as an executive, uh, just let me check some things. Uh, as an execu uh, executive summary, uh, or uh, just for you to know, uh, the listing directory is an online platform that uh, that look or the or, or the point is to connect buyers and sellers. Yeah, but uh, not also. Uh, not, not only uh, just for, okay, I have this product, yeah, and you buy me. Yeah, and the, 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 main, in, the main point is uh, that you have many options, yeah, uh, as, a, as a buyer, yeah, in order to explore, for example, if, like, uh, to make a, I forgot the name in English, but a, a quotation, yeah? Oh, yeah. Quotation, but not as formally uh, with a, with a new paper, yeah, or, a, or with a PDF, yeah. Uh, but also for, uh, you look for the product, yeah? as the marketplace on Facebook, yeah. But what is uh, the main point of this? That you have many options as a buyer, yeah. But many options, uh, obviously many clients as a seller, yeah. And you can, uh, for example, look if the client or the person that is buying your products is or has a good rating, yeah. In order to know that you can take a risk or not, yeah. Okay, you are looking for a selling something, yeah. But if the product that you are selling is uh, so expensive that you don't want to, to take a risk, you can say, okay, no, I cannot uh, tell to you because you are not good rated. And for example, it, it means to me a high risk, yeah? So you take her as a, as a seller and also 
on the other hand, as a buyer, yeah. Um, you can, as a seller, uh, make your, uh, your, for example, your teeny web page, yeah, uh, and place your your information there. Uh, obviously, create a, a catalog, yeah, of products. Uh, main uh, also services, yeah, and uh, you can be update this uh, this platform the time that you want the times that you want yeah and i i could find more affordable yeah for you as a, as an entrepreneur instead of uh, for example to hire a person to design a web page for you uh, to pay a hosting to pay uh, for example uh, the ads uh, for your product or maybe for your business, yeah. Uh, and you can um, you can find the things quick or quickly and easily, yeah. In a market analysis, uh, the market for listing directories is growing rapidly. An example of this is marketplace from Facebook, yeah. Uh, more consumers, more uh, customers turn uh, to the internet to find uh, a local business, yeah. Or if you don't have a physical uh, place, uh, just you can just work as a um as a digital uh, store, yeah but not for digital products, yeah, or, or not only for digital products, yeah. Um, the platform will target small to medium-sized businesses, and they are often the ones who struggle with online vis visibility, yeah. Um, what else? The business model uh, in order to generate revenue, it's a combination or could be a combination of paid listings, yeah, advertising and e-commerce. For example, if you have, if you as a seller, if you have a, a, a product that you can, uh, sorry, that you want to appear on the top of the list, you can pay for that, yeah in order to, no matter what kind of, of search the user or the customer uh, does, uh, you can appear on the top of this, uh, of this list, yeah. Um, also, uh, like, like I said before, uh, the platform will also feature a marketplace where businesses can sell their products directly to consumers, yeah? Uh, but taking care about uh, what I talking about before, that uh, put or, or rate the customer or also rate the, the, the business, yeah? In order to people know that uh, if, the, if the business is a formal business, yeah, it's not uh, um, stuff. I don't know how to say this in English, teacher. Oh, which one? I'm sorry. Estafa. Um, you can say fraud. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's not a fraud business, yeah. Or on the other hand, it's not a fraud customer, yeah. Uh, people who ask for you to approve and you go with the product, but no customers on, on the place that you that you made the arrange, yeah. Uh, what could be a, a plus from this, yeah? As uh, uh, as the drivers from Uber, uh, you as a, as an owner 
or as a business owner, you can uh, register, yeah, and also the, the business, the, the listing directory uh, has to ask you for your, your papers, yeah, your ID, like your DUI, uh, like the matricula de comercio or something like this in order to uh, guarantee to the customers that the um, that the the, the, the company uh, exists as it yeah and on the other hand to the customers also do the same uh, show the the doc show your documents and if you want to add a payment method not only at the front of your door but also a credit card or something like this you can you can do this yeah um what else? Uh, some marketing strategy. The, the platform will uh, uh, leverage social media and could be targeted online over advertising to reach potential users. Yeah, the platform could uh, also establish partnerships with local businesses, radios, uh, TV spots, uh, influencers maybe uh, and on the other hand with business associations more formal yeah like uh, chambers of commerce in order in order to promote this platform to to their members uh, in the case of business owners and on the social media on the general social media to the customers, yeah, and try, try to do this this environment as secure environment to to sell and buy your goods or services, yeah. Um, about uh, the platform and the operations plan, it will be developed by a team of experienced developers and designers. Uh, the platform will be housed on an scalable, scalable, sorry, cloud infrastructure to ensure high ability, high availability, and fast response times. Yeah, we are in a formal way, so we have to uh, invest resources in uh, formal resources. Yeah, like AWS or Azure or whatever. Yeah. The platform will also feature a mobile app for users who prefer to search for businesses on the go. So you can uh, have your business on your hand or you can have your store in the in, in your hand also. Yeah. Uh, what else about the financial plan? will require an initial investment to cover development costs, obviously, uh, marketing expenses and operational expenses. Revenue will be generated through paid leasings, advertising, and e-commerce sales. The platform will aim to break, to break even within the first two years operation and to achieve profitability by year three. It's a uh, uh, could, could be considered as a high risk uh, platform, yeah, because you have to or you must to to make an initial investment, uh, uh, a high amount of money, yeah, but you can you can uh, uh, look for a, a sponsor. Yeah, for sponsors like uh, the the business chamber or something like this. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, overall, uh, the listing directory with an e-commerce component has the potential to meet the needs of both. Yeah, like I said before, businesses and consumers or customers by providing an easy-to-use platform for discovering and purchasing products and services from local businesses, yeah. Uh, 
what is an example of this will be related with pedidos ya app or Uber Eats app. Yeah, it's the like the same thing. Yeah, but with another kind of focus. Yeah, it's more focused on entrepreneur people. Yeah, people who is not uh, available to pay a uh, high uh, cost of uh, operation of, of this kind of, of situation. Yeah, and I have something something to show you. Uh, uh, like the uh, the front end of the app or the the website yeah you have uh, this this menu in the in the in in this um in this side in the, in the upper side yeah you have a uh, two buttons yeah uh, one for a uh, look for the things, goods or services that you are looking for, and order for a uh, register on the platform. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, there are an example of the categories that you can find on the platform. Yeah. Uh, supplies for do-it-yourself things, uh, men's goods, uh, home decor, homemade gifts, uh, organic makeup, uh, talking about uh, women. Uh, what else? Uh, the feature vendors, yeah? The businesses that are uh, selling your uh, their goods. Um, the products that are set, that are being sell, sold by the, by the businesses, yeah? A, a blog and at the end uh, all the things that you are uh, needed in order to know more about this platform yeah uh, that's it I don't know if you want to, to know anything more I'm here to you okay very well so uh, anybody has a question for Juan Miguel Brand? Uh, not a not direct a question, if not a good comment, because he is taking advantage about the technology. Because uh, each e business is a good option because you don't pay maybe some rent of the building or you don't pay uh, some taxes when you have the on a specific place where the business needs to be, and also uh, is taking advantage uh, of the technology. So that's cool. Okay, very nice. good. Sir. Thank you for the comments. Anybody else has a question for Juan Miguel Brown? No question. Okay, very well. So I just have one question. Uh, as I understand, uh, the the profit that you will have in mind, in mind that you learn something like that, it will be that every time. I mean, almost all these platforms work like this. Uh, every time that a business they sell something to the platform, they pay a little bit, a percentage to the owner of the platform. Is that the way that it's going to work? Uh, or that you believe yes. that should be working like that? Yes. Uh, um, imagine or or think about Uber Eats or Pioja or any other platform that work on this on the same way. Yeah, uh, the user is charged. Uh, with a fee for the use of the platform. And obviously the business is charged with another fee. Yeah. And also if you as a business uh, would like to pay more in order to use other features, you can do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that is the way that almost always this platform works. So that's why I was wondering. But yeah, it's a very good idea. I believe that, yeah, many uh, businesses would like to be part of something like that one. Uh, probably the most, uh, the, comp the competitor that you will have mostly is 
maybe uh, Facebook market. I mean, the marketplace there is huge. Anybody can just uh, send the product, right? Uh, the only problem is that there are uh, fraud sometimes, and uh, yeah. the products sometimes are not real. I mean, the picture is very nice, but whenever you see the product, it's not good. So uh, to run only businesses, that would be maybe the advantage uh, from you and other any any other platform. Yes, I was thinking about that, and and the advantage is that uh, if you ask for the legal legal papers or the documents in order to warranty to the both sides, uh, you have more uh, confidence about this. Yeah, uh, in Facebook you can create the whatever quantity of profiles that you want and just put uh, uh, a photograph of any person and you have this profile and you can sell from there, yeah, or buy from there, but uh, probably you you are not the one in the, in the photo or something like this. Yeah, it could be a, a fraud in some time. Yeah, that is a big problem. I mean, in Facebook, for example, I mean, it's very easy to use. I mean, you want to sell something, you upload pictures. But even if you are going to sell something that is, I mean, good and real, you need to be careful on the process that you are going to follow, where you're going to meet the person, I mean, many things, right? So, yeah, and this probably is going to be that the advantage that is going to be totally, totally real, let's say. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Juan Miguel. Very interesting. Okay, my friends, it seems that we don't have more time for uh, the rest, but if you have the presentation, of course, you can uh, do it uh, on Monday. Monday, we have more time for that one, and we can finish that one. I know that many of you, you have the homework done, and definitely we're going to have the time for that one. Uh, besides that one, I want to apologize. I was late because, you know, being crazy, I'm far uh, from my house yesterday and today. Uh, yesterday was easier. Today was kind of more complicated. Uh, but at, at the end, we were here. So that was very good. Uh, Monday will be totally normal. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance. And let's see. All right. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Yes, teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Here, present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. For Wendy, is the 101 of tonight. So, the rest of you, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Have a nice weekend and see you on Monday. Thank you. Teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Good night to everyone. I'm sorry? So, I'm here. So, you didn't ask. So, uh, I didn't ask. For, I mean, I don't see your name here. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Ah, excuse me. Okay, very good. I'm going to check into that one. Okay. Very well. Okay, got you. Okay, very good. okay guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Rest a lot.